just see the uh, picture because the uh, uh, clean uh, in your clinical anatomy spots the 10 marks spots okay the picture i used most of the picture similar picture i used for the spotting clinical anatomy and clinical uh, anatomy spot is important for your exam purpose because 5 and 5 10 if you get the zero histology always less so out of 20 if you get less than 15 and then difficult to cover in the other places so please uh, do you well in your clinical anatomy spots okay so that is why we kept as a this session for again and again for the applied anatomy otherwise we already covered this applied sessions with the regular sessions with your regular teaching just to revise so this is i am not going in details of all everything we just i am covering only the some part of the this thing just certain important point i will cover okay and emphasizes on the certain point which you miss maybe at the previous session because my whole lecture is already covered in the all four sessions majority components are already covered so we'll revise this thing so initially i started with the uh, plan for the bone because there is uh, the student from the bone they already cover the majority thing so i will emphasize on the muscles and nerve first okay so that is i change a little bit my presentation so what we uh, when we talk about the upper limb limb how limbs are different for this thing what do you understand what they are doing these two animals okay this thing after seeing the picture what comes in your mind what they are doing they are fighting they are fighting fighting means fight. how you why you fight for the food for your protection this thing then you to for your survival you remember that darwin's principle survival of the fittest for survival of the fittest the three thing he told you population that is the different part but the food and protection one thing for that you required one organ for that particular thing you required a organ that is organ is known as prehensile organ so from lower animal to human being the the prehensile organ is different for a human being because from quadrupeds to we come the this thing so our four limbs the upper limb are free to use as a prehensile organ if you see the cow quadrupeds the head is the prehensile organ either for love making either for the protection fighting or eating so the all thing is they done by the head but even though squirrel if you see the squirrel they are faculty means they have walk on the quadrupeds but they can use the upper limb for time being for that reason their prehensile organ is upper limb although they walk on the four limb so you can see here so eating they use the two here the hook, you already covered the previous hook grip and everything i think you know so if you see they don't have any hook grip and all thing so that is why if you see the squirrel they eat by holding the two palm there is nothing squirrel doesn't develop the hook grip and all thing the hook grip come after the monkey so that is why if you see the monkey monkey again hold but he can flex the terminal phalanx so they hold this like this way okay so this is a so prehensile the upper limb is the prehensile organ is this thing so these are the competency which go, we are going to cover in this session so we first we talk about the applied anatomy muscle and nerve okay so uh, before that uh, they have presented uh, this thing radial nerve so in that presentation uh, they talk about the functions okay so there are intrinsic muscles of the hand intrinsic muscle of hand okay can you uh, flex just like this thing this is the flat hand now you just try to flex the terminal phalanx extend hold this can you flex after doing this uh, terminal phalanx can you able to flex the middle the proximal interphalangeal joint do like this way lock and then this is not possible you not able to do this so same thing as you see the long tendon 
फिक्स किया यू विल नॉट एबल टू दिस थिंग कुछ लोग करे होल्ड होल्ड फुल फुल्ली नाइंटी डिग्री देन यू डू द फ्लेक्शन ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर फिंगर फ्लेक्शन ऑफ इंटर प्रोक्सिम इंटरफ्लेक्शन जॉइंट बाकी फिंगर का नहीं इसका बाकी का तो होगा दैट्स इट डिफरेंट ओके सो वाई दिस इज हैपन वाई दिस इज हैपनिंग इफ यू रिमेंबर ओके इफ यू रिमेंबर द लार्ज मोर इज द लेंथ मोर इज द लेंथ मोर इज द फोर्स ऑन द this portion and you remember the uh, which muscle is attached on the terminal phalanx the long flexor either attached on the proximal phalanx or interphalangeal joint so if the this is log you will not able to this leg you will learn the power grip what is the in the power grip what is happening in power grip how power grip is different grip session hua na tumhara what power grip bataya hoga sir ne power grip or power grip you required something We require. Why require? Power grip means your thumb is lateralized. I am holding this thing. For example, I am just holding this mic. This the power which is not present in the lower animal. It started the power grip start with the this the orenton and all this thing. Primates onwards the the power grip started with the uh, on uh, primate onwards. It is not present in the previous. So that is the, in that we our thumb is lateralized. If you remember the fraction extension, they are 90 degree to the this thing, because this has become lateralized. Adduction abduction is changed, so we can use the thumb from the other side. And because of this terminal phalanx, it lock can lock. We require a mechanism for power grip. We require arc like manner. We require function is arc like this thing. This type of mechanism required holding this thing. Can you hold the finger like this thing? Not able to. And the maximum force is this thing. Then how is this will flex? It will lock. It will extended. That because of extensor, this will extended. So we require a mechanism which opposes this proximal uh, flexion of the proximal phalanx, proximal uh, flexion of the this uh, dis, uh, distal interphalangeal joint, proximal interphalangeal joint, but allow the metacarpophalangeal joint. So we require this type of action. Sap ka fun jo banate na, this type of action we require. how is run so we have a mechanism for doing this thing with the help of all intrinsic muscle so for that uh, because all the nerves jitna bhi either median or ulnar radial nerve this mechanism is required for this power grip so we have a called as dorsal distal expansion dorsal distal expansion so what is the dorsal distal expansion it is a extension uh, if you remember in the uh, flexor aspect we have two muscles for the flexors we have two group flexor distal superficialis flexor distal profundus for that side back side only distorum is there how they do this function so the same tendon is divided into two parts first the central tendon and the two wings are there and from the two wings just like uh, wing uh, paraglide uh, paraglide it has two wings just like this way it has one wing from this side this wing and it wrap around the your fingers it wrap around the finger and this is known as dorsal distal expansion and this dorsal distal expansion is required for the extension this is the action of uh, lumbricus ka action kaise yaad rakhte ho palmar intra hai dorsal intra hai this is the action of the all 12 muscle of intrinsic muscle of the hand theek hai na claw hand sabne bataya lekin claw hand hua kyun why this is happening claw hand what is client opposite to this action opposite to do this action what will do hyper extension and flexion of interphalangeal this is the client this action ka opposite hi reflection hai na so this is the, so this is done by the dorsal distal extension so what will happen the all the intrinsic muscles and all thing they attach on the wing of the this thing either lumbricus palmar uh, intercostal dorsal intercostal they attach on this wing so what will happen they crosses to anterior to this metacarpophalangeal joint but effective for so i will see, see here the diagram yes this is the this is the picture of dorsal distal expansion so the lumbricals they attach on the this portion lumbrical and this thing palmar intercostal so what will happen when they pull this direction so 
ultimately pull from this portion goes in this direction so what will happen the force is going behind the axis you know the what is the flexion or extension it is the force not the muscle it is the force which is doing the if the for direction of force for example sartorius muscle of anterior compartment but it causes the flexion of the knee joint because why because the action of the force is behind the axis so anything behind the axis it will do the approximation on the back side that is why the knee joint is flex in case of sartorius so same thing same principle here the force goes this direction it now force go behind this proximal interphalangeal and distal interphalangeal so lumbrical causes the extension of this finger and the flexion this thing and then this slowly initially they allowed the this flexion and this flexion so that is arc line manner so this is done by the help of dorsal distal extension so all the claw hand all the anatomical basis of this thing the this dorsal distal extension is there okay so you can see this is the actions of you can see this is the action of all the interesting muscle means lumbrical ka bhi hai likh sakte ho palmar interosseous palmar and dorsal interosseous they have two another function pad and dab you remember already know okay this thing so this is the action now we will come to the this thing now we will start with the one by one and then we will understand when they come the supply come to the hand because then only we can understand now what is deformity happen there are two terms when we talk about the in the case of now one is deformity one is disability deformity and disability what is the difference between deformity and disability what is deformity what is disability deformity is means particular position of the limb because of one group of muscle is acting it create one position of limb so that is deformity it may part, uh, sustain uh, position of the limb that is deformity not able to perform particular action is disability not able to perform a disability permanent position is deformity okay you learn like facial deviation jo bhi upper limb mein wagaira padta hai deviation deviation actually is the deformity not able to blow is disability okay. so same with the upper limb you will see more as compared to other part limbs mein you will see more okay so first we talk about the started with the brachial plexus the anatomy of one of the upper trunk so that is the up paralysis up duchenne paralysis when it is happen when this neck shaft angle this angle the neck shaft angle is extended means this angle is increased this angle is increased this angle can be increased when you fall on the shoulder so shoulder will this say this thing or during child delivery you extended you try to force pull out the head and then this extension happen or in the surgery surgical table you press on this side and then again surgical table in surgical table fall on the shoulder or during child so it will stress the upper trunk so upper trunk up point is there what are the component upper trunk mein ko do nerves aayengi what are the two nerves do component c5 c6 so whatever the muscle get the nerve supply from the c5 c6 they all are paralyzed once these muscles are paralyzed unopposed action create position of the limb so most of the uh, muscles of the uh, uh, scapula attached to the scapula they all are paralyzed scapular muscles spec, uh, scapular group of muscles are supplied by c5 c6 beside that there is a bicep and upper part of the arm the arm muscles the somites from the arm muscles especially the biceps okay bicep and brachialis this is the this is the supplied by the c5 c6 what is the action of the bicep flexion okay <clears throat> or may major action kya supinator is the main action theek hai flexion karoge you will not feel the that pulsation theek hai brachialis ki vaise hoga but if you do the mid prone position mein supination can feel the more ek aisa flexion karo utna bicep nahi feel hoga but if you do the supination okay so this is the if you remember lock kholte kaise hain लॉक अनलॉक करने के लिए गाड़ी स्टार्ट करने व्हाट इज द डायरेक्शन स्क्रू स्क्रू का डायरेक्शन क्या है सुपिनेशन है बिकॉज सुपिनेटर सुपिनेटर इज मोर प्रोमिनेंट पावरफुल अदरवाइज वो तो क्रू ही बनाना था इंजीनियर्स को उल्टा ग्रू बनाते तो उल्टा होता था 
Puliya, it can be done by this direction also. Why they always done this direction? Because the supinator has prong. Khud se khol ke dekho na, kuch bhi karke. You will not able to do this force. But if you do the supination, you can easily do it. So the all screw driving, screw tightening of the screw, unlocking, locks ke unlocking, they all are supinator in this thing. Okay, biceps is the this thing. So what is the, this is the other bullet and this injury can also lead to this thing. So what is the permanent deformity now? Deformity in case of this thing. Deformity kya raegi? Yaan pe? Waiter, tip hai. So kya kya cheese paralyzed hua, kya kya hua? We will tell. So arm is, arm is adapted, extended, pronated and flex. Okay, flex. This is the potter's tip hand or a waiter tip hand or policeman tip hand, different deformities there. So, these muscles are paralyzed. So, unopposed action from the other side. So, if delta is equal, abduction is lost. So, that is why pectoral is major takes. The adductor is there. Supinator, these all are lateral rotators. Short muscles or scapular muscles, so seats, jod, bula, they all are lateral rotator. So, Pectoral is major in middle rotator. So again, head is middle rotator. Unopposed action of the pectoral is major. Same bicep and brachialis and supinator are paralyzed. The unopposed action by the tricep is cause the extension. Okay. And loss of supination, forearm is pronated. Supination loss and the forearm is pronated. Okay. So these are the policemen defined. The next is another in common injury of the brachial plexus. Clumke paralysis. So clumke paralysis, when will that happen? When there is a sudden extension of the hand. This, this limb means axilla angle. Abhi pehle, this angle is increased, now this angle is increased. Body and the limbs the angle suddenly extension. So that will leave the uh, transferring of the lower trunk. That C8 T1. So all the interesting muscle of the hand, they are supplied by C8 and T1. Upper wala C5, C6 hai. You can check the C5, C6. You examine for this portion. For C8, you look for the intrinsic muscle of hand. So, intrinsic muscle ka bhi action I told you. This is the action. Iska opposite ho jayega. This is. So, in the clumke paralysis, you will find this type of this thing. Okay. So, these are the conditions. Cervical rip. They also lead to the clumke paralysis. Okay. So, action I already told you. The same thing. Claw hand will happen. But in both sides. Alnar and median now. Okay. Because both components carry from the lower trunk. Okay. Next is, next after that, that injury is in this region, axilla. So, if you remember long thoracic nerve, run along the medial side of the chest. Medial side of the chest. Pura ribs ke along run karke aati, serratus anterior ke Okay. So, if, how it is possible injury? Either stab injury, stab ho sakta hai. Yeah, you are doing the uh, intracostal drainage and you go behind and that is the place for the, this thing. You don't remember that you have long thoracic nerve, you injured it. After some time, after a few days, the person will come with there, there is a problem. Okay. So, this is this type of injury, no, iatrogenic injury, means doctors create the injury for this thing. Okay. So, or sometimes it is heavy weighters may crush between the uh, clavicle and the first strip, carrying heavy objects on the shoulder joint. So, these are the injury which can, or radical mastectomy, you talk about the breast. So, these are lead to the, so what is the deformity, yaha pe kya deformity hogi? Deformity normally nahi hogi, it is mainly not able to, serratus interior ki whether, what is disability, what is deformity? Kya function nahi kar paega serratus interior chali gai to? Long thoracic supply is serratus interior. Override reflection here. Because for the rotation of the scapula, the deltoid can do only the up to 90 degree. After that, the greater torque enter comes acromion process. It will come under the acromion process. It will not allow. For that, we require a scapula has to be rotated to do the 180 overhead reflection. So, for the rotation of the scapula, we require both muscles. Yes, it will go. Upper set trapezius, yes, it will serratus anterior. So if this muscles are paralyzed, this rotation of the scapula is not a, and the over abduction is a. And the dis uh, deformity is when the person try to push the middle side of the uh, scapula will uh, prominent. 
that is no winging of scapula here you can see this is the winging of scapula the medial edge of the scapula is elevated and over head abduction is not possible this is because this serratus anterior this rotation is not possible okay now come to the axillary nerve so what is the one? okay uh, in this exam in this session muscle and nerve we talk about the there are two thing there is living anatomy you have five marks living anatomy clinical nerve. so in living anatomy we they ask you the testing of the muscles so we are just i will try to cover how to test the muscles for example now deltoid how you test the deltoid is normal or abnormal the axillary nerve which muscle supplied by axillary nerve the deltoid is minor so teres minor with no function but deltoid we can test how you test the deltoid deltoid reaction kya hai abduction hai na to abduction we ask initially we ask the patient to do the abduction so normally what do, when you ask teacher ask you to do that testing you immediately apply the force or suddenly you there are two type of student ek bolega ha sir uthao ho gaya testing other dusra dusra type of student they apply the force and then the third type of student they tell ki what i am doing and then first ask the person to perform the normal action then do the testing already paralysis tumne aur paralyze kiya bola paralyzed hai ya weakness hai paralyzed bol diya hai paralyzed hai paralyzed tumne already force lagaya to wo uthayega kaise so first you ask the normal do the normal action then inform the patient ki i am going to apply the pressure you have to do the abduction ne abduction nahi bologe haath uthane ko bologe so but the for your information i am just telling ki ha you ask the for the abduction beside that you can test the batchment area this thing there is a loss of upper part that is a, this is not regimental batch area ye loss of sensation ya to paralysis hogi deltoid ki ya loss of sensation the upper part of the this thing ha theek hai this is how you apply hold the hand and apply the pressure on the with the other hand and ask to do the abduction then you can test the by touching the lower half of the deltoid then come to the median nerve median nerve kaise test what are the nerve muscle supplied by the median nerve to so, khatam hua na four arm muscles except one and a half muscles one and a half muscles and they also supply the yahan pe thinar thinar group of muscle and first and second lumbricus so how you going to test the individual muscles median nerve also give the deep deep muscles as of the forearm are supplied by anterior interosseous nerve how you going to test the whether is anterior interosseous you uh, that time the fracture with them in talking about the fracture of the both bone of arm it may lead to the uh, rupture of the anterior interosseous nerve whether how you know whether it is anterior interosseous nerve gayi or median nerve gayi there should be test we can differentiate between whether anterior interosseous nerve is there or whether is the median nerve is there so what are the chances where it median nerve get injured one of the struthers ligaments struther struther ligament from supracondylar reach to the medial epicondyle the arches come okay from this thing to the medial epicondyle the sorry this ligament comes it will compress the median nerve sometime the brachial artery also compress the, this thing so this is the ligament struthers ligament which causes the this thing compression so what will happen all the muscles are paralyzed the forearm muscles are paralyzed how you test okay before that there is another thing first to yahan pe injury ho sakti hai i will tell you how you test later another is the median nerve passes through the pronator teres through head of pronator so it may be compression syndrome when the pronator is in the pronator teres so how you test you do the hold and to do the pronation forced pronation so when you try to do the forced pronation so a person will complain of the pain in the distribution of the median nerve tingling sensation of pain in the distribution of the this thing now okay so here is the compression with the when you do the the pronator is tight and it compresses the nerve so you feel the pain and this thing 
So that is pronator syndrome. So there is a hyperesthesia in hyperesthesia in the distribution of cutaneous distribution three and half of the middle side of the thing. Okay. Then other places where the injury happen, as is told, supracondylar fracture in supracondylar fracture or pulis fracture, stab injury in the this region, wrist injury. Okay, look at that, na. So stab injury that may lead to the median of injury. Okay. Or sometimes carpal tunnel. Okay. Okay. Arm is supinated. What is if the nerve injury is at upper levels for the ligament? So arm is supinated position because pronator teres is paralyzed. Pronator teres paralyzed. We flexion of the wrist joint because all the flexors are lost. Flexors are so we flexion and wrist flexion is accompanied by wrist adduction. When you ask the person to do the flexion against the resistant, it will do the adduction. Why this is happen? Because the middle half of the flexor is from profundus. And flexor carpi ulnaris, they are acting. We didn't have paralyzed here, but ulna now is intact. So flexor carpi ulnaris can do weak flexion of the wrist joint, and the middle half of distal profundus also. So, but the wrist is deviated. When they ask the flexion, the wrist is deviated to the this thing because of flexor carpi ulnaris. So that is how you differentiate flexion. Is either it is medial now or for ulna now. If the wrist is deviated to the Middle side, then it is because of another another flexor uh, uh, flexor carpi ulnaris and middle of flexor distal profundus. In the hand, okay. I will tell you this is the same thing. So now, <coughs> so what is happening now? This is a, we already covered this thing. Now we talk about the interesting muscle of the hand, which is supplied by the middle arm, means thinner group of muscles. So, so there are two half. Okay, just try to flex your fingers, flex your finger, touch the terminal phalanx. Pehle choti fingers, last pin finger. Ye wali finger karo. Next do the second finger. मेला रिंग फिंगर स्वाटी तो पूरा टच होना चाहिए एक्टिवली करना फोर्स पैसिवली स्वाटी लाइपन वाला थर्ड फिंगर पूरा टर्मिनल फैलिंग सो टाइटली टच होना चाहिए स्वाटी लाइपन नहीं कैन यू स्टेट द दिस फिंगर मिडल फिंगर टच पूरा फोर्सफुली टच थर्ड फिंगर का क्या हुआ मिडल फिंगर का क्या हुआ फ्लेक्स हो गई but index finger remain the state. Okay. This is known as Benedict sign. This is Benedict. The middle half of this, the profundus is paralyzed. So th this thing. Then the question is why this is. Okay. If you remember the profundus, the ligament, the, they are arranged into two groups. For these two, the tendon is sub superficial, and there are four tendons are there: flexor distal profundus. For index. And the little finger, they are deeper tendon. But for the middle finger and the ring finger, the tendon are arranged superficially. So they are arranged in two group. The so few fiber they are interchange with each other. Fibers are attached. So when you doing this flexion, this finger because the ul ulnar part is present. So because of this ulnar part, this uh, finger also get flex. But this is there is no overlapping. That is why this thing. So that sign is known Benedict sign. We ask the person to this thing. Benedict sign or another test is we ask the patient to clasp the this thing. Two finger में डाल के test करने के लोग बोलो that is known this test. This is sign of benediction. This is optional clasp test or pointing index. The pointing index ठीक है वो ask the person to this is not able to do the index finger flex. So this is again for the median now especially for the this thinner group of muscles. What are thinner group of muscle नाम तो बताओ what are the names? So AFO, abductor pollicis, abductor pollicis brevis, abductor pollicis, one and So because of this thinner muscles are, are atrophied, if there is paralysis, this muscle is atrophied and this abductor pollicis brevis is paralyzed 
ठीक है डॉक्टर पॉलिस ब्रेव इज पैरालाइज एंड द द एंड ऑफ द अल नव इज प्रेजेंट इन द एडक्टर पॉलिसिस आउट ऑफ द ऑल फोर्थ इन आर मसल एडक्टर पॉलिसिस इज अप्लाइड बाय अल्ला नव सो दिस देर इज वेस्टिंग ऑफ द मसल एंड द थम इज एडक्टेड थम इज एडक्टेड एंड दिस टाइप ऑफ डिफॉर्मिटी एप थम डिफॉर्मिटी दिस इज एप थम डिफॉर्मिटी A trophy of this thinner group of muscle, thumb is adducted and attached. That is eighth thumb deformity. Again, this is so medial nerve. So medial nerve. Okay, three. I have mentioned pointing index. This thing, sign of benediction. Eighth thumb deformity. Now, how you differentiate with the anterior? Now, come to the this side. Okay, there is a fracture both of an glagi fracture or Montijia fracture. In any case, can lead to the injury to the anterior entrosis. How you differentiate? Anterior entrosis now from the other injury of the middle nerve. So we just ask the make a okay sign. So okay sign is done by which muscle doing the and okay sign? The flexion of this thing, terminal phalanx, flexor distorum profundus, and the muscles of this thing, flexor uh, this thing, flexor pollicis brevis and this thing. Okay, and flexor pollicis longus. Flexor distorum. We are testing mainly the flexor uh, distorum profundus and flexor pollicis longus by asking the okay sign. If this anterior entrosis nerve is damaged, these two muscles are damaged. So the person actually is a little wrong. Eh? This diagram wrong. The person will make like this way. He uses the adductor pollicis and interesting muscle of the hand. So he look this way, not that way. Asking the okay sign. If normal person will able to make a okay sign, but if in case of paralysis, the person will make a adduction. Ad he uses the adductor pollicis, which is supplied by the ulna nerve, metacarpal flexion and metacarpal phalangeal joint, extension of interphalangeal joint. Uses interesting muscle and adductor pollicis, so it make a this way action. Instead of okay, he is making this way action. So if he making this sign means anterior entrosis nerve is paralyzed. If he making okay sign, so this thing. That is how you differentiate various muscle injury and testing of the muscles. Another test is for medial nerve, especially for the abductor pollicis brevis. The pen test. We ask the person to touch the pen. Okay, this is the ask the this way. This is abduction. This is adduction. If the abductor pollicis person is able to touch the pen, ask the hold in this hand and try to touch the pen. Then the question is. There is a radial nerve ad abductor pollicis. Longus is also there, which is supplied by radial nerve. That can do. So how you test? So, but there is a medial rotation. When you try to touch the pen, the thumb also go into medial rotation. So, which is not done by the abductor pollicis longus. So only do the abduction. So, abductor pollicis brevis do the abduction along with the medial rotation of the thumb. So, that is differentiated through the pen test. Not interested? I can leave the class. Mera kuch nahi jata. Mera time already. So another is a carpal tunnel syndrome. I think everyone knows this thing. So I'll just leave. The carpal tunnel. There is tunnel is present here, but formed by the carpal. And upper side is the flexor retinaculum is there. You have to in your exam you have to draw the diagram. How you differentiate with the other nerve? Whether it's carpal tunnel or this thing? Are you going to differentiate? So the You by just testing the sensation because the lower half, the lower half, this portion is supplied by the palmar branch. So in the carpal tunnel, this is preserved because it is passes from this region. But the distal portion is paralyzed. Uh, there is a loss of sensation on distal palm of. Yeah. So that is how. It, and then again, if you ask the do the flexion, there is tingling and pain sensation. Because when you try to stretch the dispersion and then now again compress the tingling session, that is how we differentiate carpal tunnel from the other injury of the median nerve. Okay. okay. Ask the uh, deflection. The treatment is cutting, cutting the flexor retinocula, relaxing, uh, releasing the nerve from this thing. Okay. Ultimately, it will lead to if uh, permanent rot, a some deformity. That is for the median nerve for interesting muscle. Now come to the ulna now. So ulna now again, no branch in the hand. The most common injury they talk about the supracondylar fracture. 
हार्डवर्ड टार्डी अलनर पैलसी वट इज टार्डी अलनर पैलसी ओके वाई मारा देर इज अडवर्ड लेप्रोसी लेप्रोसी सो इन इंडिया द फ्यू केसेस प्रेजेंट ओनली इन द महाराष्ट्र so how you diagnose this person is leprosy there is a thickening of the nerves so where the what are the nerves which is like superficial you feel the nerve exam me why am i pushing what are the nerves you can feel ulna nerve common peripheral nerve few nerves which can be feel easily palpated so ulna feel in this behind the middle epicondyle so sometime when you this thing why the humerus is non humerus that wet compression of the ulna nerve you feel the tang- tingling sensation along the distribution of the ulna nerve so this is the place where the ulna nerve commonly injured so in case of supracondyle uh, this fracture the there is a gun form uh, gun fog deformity means gun stroke different this type the varus deformity there is a the two type of deformity valgus and varus so this type of deformity means agar ye na bone straight hai the nerve remains straight but if i increase the angle the nerve size remain the same but it has to go like this way mal you know supracondylar so this edge as is tilted just like bowl is so now the nerve has to stretch so with the movement the nerve keep on stretching behind the middle epicondyle and it is there is no problem after 6 to 7 month the ulnar nerve palsy develop that is known as tardy ulnar nerve palsy this is a mal union of supracondylar fracture may lead to the tardy ulnar nerve palsy maybe they show you picture of the t- uh, gun stroke deformity what what which condition it may lead to this thing feature diye honge ulnar nerve wahan pe gun stroke deformity mein hand aisa rakha hoga aisa diagram mein ek aisa hand rahega so which nerve damage most likely damage so ulnar nerve ki gun gun rehti na gun jaisa banta na gun ki tarah form hota hai limbs that is a this thing okay so this is the distribution of the nerve How you going to test the muscles of the ulnar nerve? First, you ask the deviation, adduction. You will test the this muscle. ये वाली मसल टेस्ट हो जाएगी. Then you ask the, ठीक है? Finger का pad and dab test. You can do the for the interesting muscle, palmar interosseous, dorsal interosseous. Pull the card and try to push. So this palmar interosseous, dorsal interosseous. Press from the side. All the extension. So that is the palmar this thing. then for uh, this thing for lumbricus you ask the this action okay against the resistance ask this action so that is how you test the this thing then for flexor distorm you ask the hold the finger within the last two fi- finger try to hold the compressly between this two finger if the person able to hold the finger between this two finger means profundus okay middle half of the profundus is okay If not able to hold, means the middle half of the flexor distal profund is paralyzed. He is not able to. <coughs> Then this is the already covered. And I told pad and dab. I told you so where it can be injured now. The card. one I told you tardial nerve palsy. Another is cubital tunnel. How the cubital tunnel is formed? The middle it is bounded by middle epicondyle. laterally by olecranon process and between these two two head of this uh, flexor carpi ulnaris there is a, this ligament is present the tendinous arch is present below this tendinous arch ulnar nerve crosses so with the tightening of this thing mal union or mal formation may lead to the compression of the ulnar nerve in this region cubital tunnel so that is cubital tunnel syndrome just like carpal tunnel there is a cubital tunnel syndrome also aisa nahi wahan pe mistake nahi rahega There is a cubital tunnel, okay. and in that case, the ulna nerve is involved. Okay. This is injury we already discussed. Then there is a Guyen's canal. This is the place where the pisohamate ligament between hamate hook of hamate and pisiform. So this is the place where the pisohamate ligament. So it can be compressed in the Guyen's canal. so it lead to the interesting muscle ulnar claw hand 
ठीक है द मिडिल हाफ ऑफ द दिस फिंगर डेवलप द अलनर क्लॉ हैंड मिडिल क्लॉ हैंड और अलनर क्लॉ हैंड मीन्स ये फिंगर स्ट्रेट रहेंगी द पर्सन लाइक दिस वे दिस इज अलनर क्लॉ हैंड दिस इज बिकॉज ऑफ इंट्रेंसिंग मसल ऑफ हैंड एंड द अदर मसल फ्रेंड लाइक वन कंडीशन हो ना अर्नर क्लॉ हैंड दिस इज अ पिक्चर ऑफ अर्नर क्लॉ हैंड ना वट इज प्रोमेंट साइन ऑफ बुक टेस्ट दिस इज डन फॉर द एडक्टर पॉलिसिस डन फॉर द एडक्टर पॉलिसिस दिस इज डन फॉर वी आर द पर्सन टू होल्ड द बुक विद द एडक्शन बाय डूइंग दिस वे यू हैव टू शो द पर्सन की यू हैव टू होल्ड द बुक लाइक दिस वे If the adductor policy is paralyzed, how the person will hold? He use the flexor policy brevis. That limb is flex. Means he is like this way. Okay. So this is. You can see here. The person is using the flexion of the this thing instead of fully extended proximal anterior flexion. He do the flexion to hold the book. so this test is known book test of from and sign this is again done for the ulnar nerve what is ulnar paradox what is ulnar paradox so more proximal normally this if the injury is more proximal more severe is the injury but here in case of proximal more proximal injury less severity is there because in that case the flex, long flexor is also paralyzed it will not lead to deformity claw and deformity will come only after the flexor is preserved then interesting muscle do theek okay. hai so deformity is more prone when the proximal is more proximal injury that is an ulnar paradox then radial nerve already covered okay. one thing i would just say saturday night paralysis So Saturday night palsy means the person side on this thing. They in the this groove the radial nerve is this thing. So depend on the level of injury. There will wrist drop will not occur if the injury is in the forearm because the long flexor this the flexor cap and radial is longest is preserved. So there weakening of flexion. Wrist drop means ऐसा होना चाहिए यार. So wrist drop for the wrist drop injury has to be above the either spiral groove or above the spiral groove. then only the wrist drop occur distal part mein agar radial nerve injury the wrist drop will not occur so the oftenly asked in mcq where the wrist drop occur in which level the wrist drop occur okay because of preservation of flexor uh, extensor carpi radialis longus the wrist drop will not occur if there is distal injury this is all thing you already so all about the now now I think bony part is already covered, so I will just the soft part. We cover the soft part. So this is memory gland already covered, so I am not going to cover. This is the region already covered in the lecture. स डेनेज ठीक है लिगामेंट ऑफ ऊपर इन्वॉल्व पकरिंग लिम्फेटिक ब्लॉकेज बीडी ऑरेंज क्यूटेनेस और इंटरनल थोरेसिक लिम्फ नोट ब्लॉक ऑफ द चैनल दैट स्प्रेड टू द अदर साइड लैक्टिफेर इज द इन्वर्जन ऑफ निपल सो दिस आर द रीजन देन ग्रास की मिडल कोबाइटल वेन वाई द मिडल कोबाइटल वेन इज मोस्ट प्रिफर्ड फॉर द आईवी इंजेक्शन बिकॉज it passes through the biceptral epigonosis if you tense the biceptral epigonosis it will you fix for putting the iv line you have to fix the nerve otherwise vein sorry otherwise vein is more flexible okay. so that is why uh, middle cubital vein is preferred for this thing then what is pulsating scapula what is pulsating scapula heard about the pulsating scapula in case of the the Second and third part of axillary nerve is blocked. Okay, if this this region is blocked, so what will happen? There is alternate channels form. There is alternate channel is form from the thyroid cervical trunk. There is a branch, deep branch of transverse cervical artery, 
and there is a communication of circumflex capillary artery and thoracodorsal artery. So the channel, the blood will go from this direction and ultimately go to into the axillary artery. अगर यहाँ पे axillary artery का block होगा, forearm will not get, it may lead to gangrene. So alternate channel is there. Already आता है क्या सबको? I will take the viva now. पैरालिस so they are first has to fibros then only how you know, how you test the it is volcomen ischemic contracture if you do the, if you do the wrist flexion the tendons get tense you not able to do this means agar maine wrist flexion kiya the finger will this way to do the flexion i have to relax the wrist joint so when i do the flex emily this is this is the position when i do the wrist flexion they get tense that is how you differentiate the paralysis and volcomen ischemic because there is a tightening of the tendon jaise flex karoge ye tightening ho jayega ye shortening hoga and this will got extension that is how differential vacuuming is showing contraction on other paralysis okay brachial artery you feel brachial artery is pulsation use ke liye use karte hain and now the angiography ke liye use radial artery radial then there is a golfer elbow there is a tennis elbow recurrent inflammation sudden forceful flexion lead to the golfer elbow and tennis elbow is sudden extension repeated sudden extension lead to the tennis elbow okay there is another deformity that is two deformity botnia deformity and swan neck deformity botnia deformity means this is happening in rheumatoid artery this is under the flexion the proximal interphalangeal joint is in flexion that is present in botnier deformity swan neck deformity this proximal interphalangeal extension the terminal phalanx is flex so this is present in rheumatoid arthritis ye clinical spot mein rahega then there is a mallet finger baseball khelte hai baseball the terminal phalanx the extension zone sudden jerk then lead to the this thing so in the mallet finger the last 45 degree of flexion of terminal phalanx is not possible so sudden jerk this so this is a mallet finger then the infection of hand so various injuries lead to the infection of hand so yahan ka side ka hoga paronychia epinochia and terminal first web space mein hoga yahan pe infection hoga pulse circulate hoga that is known as ko sab aata hai na puchta hu bhi main padhaunga in udhar se hum bolo yahan ka flexion hoga aur kya problem hai yahan pe pulse hoga to chhodna nahi फर्स्ट पल्स स्पेस में हुआ क्या प्रॉब्लम है गैंग्रीन में होगा क्यों होगा गैंग्रीन भाई दिस है तुमको आता है ना बोल दे सब लोग बोल रहे थे कुछ है उस, अरे मैं गैंग्रीन पूछ रहा हूं टर्मिनल फैलिंग इन गैंग्रीन बोन पूरी चल, चली जाएगी टर्मिनल फैलिंग वाई द कंडीशन पहले नाम तो बताओ कंडीशन नॉन है फेलॉन बोला कोई तो ठीक है फेलॉन इज द कंडीशन बिकॉज ऑफ इन दिस स्पेस देर इज टाइट सेप्टा इज देयर टाइट सेप्टा इज देर इज द पर्स इज देर एज बाय डिफिनेशन डीफेशिंग अन इलास्टिंग इन नेचर सो दिस सेप्टा इज नथिंग बट डीफेशिया सो जितना भी पर्स होगा एक्यूमुलेट होता रहेगा एक्यूमुलेट होता है वहां पर क्या है आर्टरी आर्टरी विल कंप्रेस विद दैट टर्नल पार्ट इज गोल इन टू गैंग्रीन सो प्रोक्सिमल वन फोर फिफ्थ ऑफ द फिंगर विल शेड ऑफ देखा नो स्मोकिंग पिक्चर और सब में देखा ना फ्रॉग फ्रॉस्ट बाइट होता है वहां पे सडन वेस्कुलेचर होता है फिंगर पूरी पूरी देखते हैं पूरी पूरी फिंगर गिर जाती है गैंग्रीन होके तो टर्मिनल फैलिंग सो दैट इज फैल केस में दैट विल लीड टू द दिस थिंग दिस इज अप्टा सो दिस पोर्शन द आर्टरी सप्लाई ऑफ दिस पोर्शन फोर फिफ्थ ऑफ दिस थिंग फोर फिफ्थ इज कट सो पूरा पूरा बोन भी शेड हो जाएगा पूरा गैंग्रीन हो जाएगा कैन सी 